Hello YouTubers! What we are going to do today is we are going to do a little tutorial on Rear Memory Keeper's new Singe Quill. And what it is, is it draws out on wood and then you burn it or use a heat gun to activate the, the pen. And so you have a wood burn look that the machine can draw for you and that's the big thing, that the machine can draw. So you're not having to draw this. And because the machine is drawing, it doesn't bleed. Um, some of the other pens on the market bleed to the point that it's not really recognizable. So let me go show you what you need. All right, so they do have a kit you can buy. So it's about 25 ish dollars or so. Now the kit comes with both the pens and the adapters and some wood pieces. Or you can just buy the wood pieces outright. You can also buy the adapters outright too. Um, the kit is, um, so the kit, um, the adapters are going to work on the older machines, the Cameo 1, 2, and 3. These pieces, because of the height of them, are only going to work in a Cameo 3 and 4. Um, the Cameo 1 and 2 can only have, uh, items that are one millimeter thick pass through them. The Cameo 3 can get, uh, two millimeters, and then the 3 has a three millimeter clearance. Okay, and then these guys are probably about a millimeter and a half, give or take, so they can go through the Cameo 3 and 4. This, the pins will work in the older, the Cameo 1 and 2, but the wood pieces will not. And the thing with the wood pieces is legitimately, they've got some really little pieces that you could get lined up in the machine, but it would kind of be a pain in the butt. So they would be better suited for drawing by hand and then using the heat gun on rather than having the machine um, draw on them if you ask me like I wouldn't want to try to get this all lined up This big piece will work um, So the pieces will work in the three and the four the adapters will work in the one two and three And the pen will technically work in any machine you have as long as you got an adapter <laughs> Sorry, I know that's a bit confusing, but I hate to see people buy the wrong thing So what I did originally was just buy the markers um, cause I knew I only have a Cameo 4 and I knew these adapters wouldn't work. So, um, so what I've been using is the Cameo, is the markers, and then the Cameo 4 pin adapter, um, with the medium tip. And then what I bought was these sheets off, um, Amazon. Originally they were meant to cut wood on the Cameo 4, but I haven't had any luck with them. And, um, they are balsa wood. And they are 1.5 millimeters thick, so they can go through um, the machine without a problem. So, and then this is a sketch file, which means it's a single line file. That's why we're not getting any of the double outline stuff. Um, and then this was the bowl tip, and then this is the fine tip. So there's not a massive amount of difference. And then something we will have to, I'll have to, I'll show you. Um, you can't put this tip, the the, um, the holder, all the way in, because if you do, it's gonna drag. So, we'll sh I'll show you how to avoid all of this. But if you get dragging, it's totally normal. You'd have to move the adapter up. Um, so, and then I have been using the strong grip mats, which are probably a bit of overkill to be honest, but seem like the best thing at the time. And then I've been using the big heavy duty heat gun, um, the one that's got a thousand over a thousand watts in it. Um, this is the one that the scorch markers were recommending, a scorch marker that was so popular at Christmas. This is the one they were recommending, or a, a bigger gun. I haven't actually tried the little one, the little uh, embossing heat gun, so I don't actually know if they work or not. And I know somebody's gonna ask me, is this a scorch marker? Um, I've been fighting with it since Christmas, give or take, trying to get something I like to do a YouTube video and I haven't yet. Um, the thing that makes these so cool is they go through the machine. Um, so if you wanted to, because this guy can't, and because he can't, he ends up bleeding a lot, if you ask me. Um, so that's why I like these. Now, if you want to color in the world, this is your better bet. This is your better bet because it just, I don't feel like these are going to, you know, just color in quite as much as this will. So, whatever my opinion's worth. Um, 
So we're gonna, I'll set it up in the software and I'll show you how I've been feeding it through my machine and then we'll burn. Oh, and do know that when you do this, it's gonna smell like burning wood wherever you do this for quite a while. It's been very uh, woody in my basement for a while. All right, so I wanted to show you where this piece of wood sits on the mat so you can see where to set it up in the software. The reason I like these is they're kind of an easy, so what I've been doing is putting it a little under wood and trying to kind of center it. So we're basically between one and nine. And then I've been taping it down just as some extra insurance. But see, this is just gonna be a lot more, a lot easier to line up in the software than a leaf. So, and then try to, I just tape it down Basically, it's extra insurance. Also, the, the sheets kind of bow because they're not very thick. So, this also helps keep ensure that it's flat down to the mat. So, good old painter's tape. Also, it will not um, quill over or burn over. No liquid gets where you, if you tape it. So, if you tape, if you, if the marker draws over the tape, it's not gonna, you're not gonna have a design there. Now we'll go to the software. So I did a file and merge and I brought in my second lion. So this is the first one that you saw with the flowers and this is the second one. Now we were, and basically I just did file and merge and brought him in. And uh, like I said, this is a single line sketch file, so you're not going to get any of the double lines. Um, and we're below the one and above the nine. So I'm breaking the rules and stretching. And then see a little bit above each one. Because you don't want to get too close to the edge because A, it's taped, and B, if the marker goes off the edge, it's, not, it's never going to line up again. So, does that help? There you go. Let me see him a little better. So, send. So, we're going to do um, this is the cardstock plane sketch, and then I've got pen holder selected. Um, apparently, the newer versions of the software, it just says sketch pen. So, either one will work. And then, so the, the original setting is a force of 18 and a speed of 10. So, I'm going to say a force of 10 and a speed of 5. Now, if you have the most detailed thing in the universe, slow the speed down. Um, and the force is kind of, you don't really need a, a giant force because you're just trying to get the marker to draw. You're not having to like stab it, so. And we're gonna go put it all in the machine. All right, so the biology book is back. Um, so this, this is a, a inch and a half or inch and a quarter tall biology book. And the reason I have it is because there's quite a drop with this cameo. So this way, and I really, for the wood, this big piece of wood, would really recommend it because if you don't, the it's gonna the wood's gonna gonna want to give you more trouble because it's hard on that angle for it to feed. So it's about an inch and a quarter tall biology book um, that I've been using to help kind of support support the wood. Also, any wood that you're going to buy can't go where your rollers are. All right, so we're back in the better light here. So I've got my marker. This is the bold marker. This is bold. And you're going to use, I'm going to use the Cameo 4 pen holder. So you put the holder with this little plastic part and screw it until it's tight. Okay, you don't want it. Now, what I've been using is a popsicle stick from uh, from this is the Chomo's uh, holding the marker tool from the cameo, the earlier cameos, one, two, and three. So um, I've been using it to set my depth. If you don't, it's going to be a bit of guess and check until you get it set right. So, or unless you just find another popsicle stick. 
So here's our marker. I put it into blade one. Now what I do is I take, it's going to be hard to see, take your little um, popsicle stick and make sure it's still sitting on your wood and your marker is sitting on top of it. Like don't force it, but it just needs to be sitting on top of it. Okay, so my marker is sitting on top of my popsicle stick. My popsicle stick is sitting on top of the piece of wood. And no, it's not going to be in all the way. And we'll close it like that. And then we will press start on the machine. So it's all done. You can kind of faintly see some lines on it. I don't know if the camera's going to pick this up at all, but they're really faint, but you can kind of see like there's an ear. Um, so you can kind of tell it's done some, some stuff, but if it's, it's really cool when it, it all kind of appears. Um, now I'm over at my heat press because it's meant to take high heat. Um, take it off the mats. The picture of the, uh, the picture of the melted mat from the other day was me trying to heat press on the mat. Don't do that. <laughs> it will cost you a mat. Um, so, and also I have normally when I do this, I just go straight from cutting machine to um, cutting machine to heat gun. I don't let it sit. I don't really know if it's necessary um, to kind of do it right away or if you can wait. Um, but I've just kind of been going as soon as it's done. Um, also I kind of recommend having like a, a, a done one by close by so you can kind of see where you need to press, you know, pop your heat gun because it is really kind of hard to see. And it is going to take a while. So, and thank God we're doing this in the winter. So there is our lion all done. And then this is our flowered lion all done. This one did take longer to um, get everything, but it's also got a lot more detail in it. But I love this. It's quick. You can put it on the wall. I like that the machine draws so you're not stuck like trying to use some annoying stencil. And then because the machine's drawing, it's not um, bleeding as bad. Um, I, I adore this. I think this is awesome. It does smell in my basement now like um, wood is burnt. And also, um, this is not going to be the most fun thing to do in the summer. It is quite warm standing there by the heat gun. <laughs> but it's really cool. So um, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, and I'll be back with another tutorial soon. Please like and subscribe to our little channel.